Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on Paulo Freire. His ideas for the development of educational thought for social change that is in the syllabus unit 1 uh, net uh, education or TRB education. So let us straight away enter into the topic. The contribution of Paulo Freire to the development of educational thought for social change. Paulo Freire was a Brazilian educator and philosopher. He was born on September 19, 1921 in Recife, Brazil. Freire is best known for his ideas about education and social change. His work has influenced many teachers and students around the world. For him, education is the tool for freedom. Freire believed that education should be a way for people to gain freedom. He thought that traditional education often made students passive listeners. In this system, teachers spoke and students listened without questioning. Freire wanted to change this. He believed that education should encourage students to think critically and ask questions. He wanted them to be active participants in their learning process. This idea is central to his concept of critical pedagogy. He, he was having what he called the banking model of education. So he has got uh, uh, some idea with regard to banking model. The present education is nothing but uh, just investing ideas to the student. That's all. Not having any critical, uh, you know, not developing any critical mind of the students. So the banking model of education. In his famous book, Pedagogy of the Oppressed, Freire wanted the concept of the banking model of education. Uh, not wanted, introduced the concept of banking model of education. In this model, students are seen as empty vessels, nothing inside. Teachers say deposit information into them and students are expected to memorize it through rote memory. Freire criticized this approach because it doesn't allow for creativity or critical thinking. He argued that this model creates a culture of silence where students do not speak up or express their thoughts. Instead, Freire uh, proposed a dialogical approach to education. He believed that learning should be a conversation between teachers and students. In this way, both teachers and students will learn from each other. This approach empowers students to think for themselves and develop their ideas. It encourages them to be active participants in their education this, through dialogue method. Consciousness raising. Freire introduced the concept of conscientization. Conscientization or raising consciousness. This means helping people understand their social, political and economic conditions. Freire believed that by becoming aware of their situation, people could take action to change it. Education for him was not just about gaining knowledge, but also about developing a critical awareness of the world. Through conscientization, Freire aimed to help people see the connections between their personal lives and larger social issues. For example, if a student learns about poverty in their community, they can start to understand why it exists and what they can do to help change, to help change it. This process encourages students to become active agents of social change. Then he is for the education for social justice. He is uh, uh, promoting education for social justice. Freire's work is deeply rooted in the idea of social justice. He believed that education should help people fight against oppression and inequality. Freire often spoke about the importance of empowering marginalized groups such as the poor and uneducated. He believed that these groups have the potential to bring about change in their communities. In Freire's view, education is a way to challenge the status quo. He believed that it should inspire people to question unfair systems, unjust systems and work towards justice. Freire's ideas have influenced many movements for social change around the world. His approach to education encourages people to stand up for their rights and advocate for a better society. What is the role of dialogue according to him? Another important aspect of Freire's educational philosophy is the role of dialogue. Freire believed that dialogue is essential for meaningful education. In a dialogue, people share their thoughts and experiences. 
This exchange of ideas creates a space for learning and understanding. Fryer argued that through dialogue, students could express their feelings and ideas. This exchange fosters mutual respect and understanding. When students feel heard, they are more likely to engage in the learning process. Dialogue allows for diverse perspectives to be considered, leading to a richer learning experiences. What is the relevance today? What is the relevance of his ideas in today's context, educational context? Freire's ideas remain relevant in today's world. Many educators still use his principles in the classrooms. For example, teachers encourage uh, teachers encourage critical thinking and discussion among students. They create environments where students feel safe to share their ideas and experiences. This approach helps students become more engaged and invested in their learning. Moreover, Freire's emphasis on social justice resonates with many current educational movements. Issues such as inequality, racism and uh, environmental justice are at the forefront of many discussions today. People are discussing all these issues today. Freire's work inspires educators to address these issues in their teaching. They strive to create classrooms that promote equity and empower all students. What would be the uh, concluding remarks for this topic? Paulo Freire made a significant contributions to educational thought for social change. His ideas about critical pedagogy, conscientization, and dialogue have influenced the educators worldwide. Freire believed that education should empower individuals to think critically and act against oppression. His work encourages students to become active participants in their learning and advocates for social justice. Today, Freire's legacy continues to inspire educators and learners, reminding us that education is a powerful tool for creating a better world. Who was Paulo Freire? Some of the questions we will examine. A politician, a Brazilian educator and philosopher, a scientist, a novelist. Of course, Paulo Freire is a Brazilian educator and philosopher. Paulo Freire was a Brazilian educator and philosopher known for his ideas on education and social change. What is the main focus of Freire's educational philosophy? Memorization, passive learning, critical thinking and dialogue, standardized testing. So what is the main focus of Freire, Freire's educational philosophy? That is, uh, you know, critical thinking on dialogue. Freire's philosophy emphasizes critical thinking on dialogue as the essential components of education. What term did Freire use to describe the traditional education model where students are seen as empty vessels? Dialogical model, banking model, constructivist model, experiential model. That is, uh, you know, uh, banking model. Freya described the traditional education model as a banking model where information is deposited into passive learners. In Freya's view, what should education promote? Conformity, creativity and critical awareness, competition among students, rote learning. In Freya's view, what should education promote? That is a creativity and critical awareness. Freya believed Education should promote creativity and critical awareness, empowering students to think independently. What is conscientization? A method of teaching, raising awareness of social issues, memorizing facts and learning through observation. Conscientization, conscientization refers to the process of raising awareness about social, political and economic issues. Freud argued that education is a way to fight against which of the following creativity, oppression and inequality, technology, standardization. So that is uh, oppression and inequality, he was against that. Freyer viewed education as a means to challenge oppression and promote equality in the school setup. What does Freyer emphasize about the role of dialogue in education? Role of dialogue, it is unimportant, it should be avoided, it is essential for learning, it only involves uh, teachers. So, it is essential for learning according to him. Freire emphasized that dialogue is crucial for meaningful learning and understanding. What is the purpose of dialogue in Freire's educational model? What is the purpose of dialogue? Conversation, no? interaction. To maintain authority, to create a space for sharing ideas, to focus on memorization, 
to evaluate students what should be the correct answer to create a space for sharing ideas that is the purpose of dialogue according to you dialogue allows for the sharing of ideas and experiences fostering mutual respect and understanding how does fryer suggest education can empower marginalized groups how does fryer suggest education can empower marginalized groups by ignoring their issues by providing basic skills only by helping them recognize their potential for change by promoting competition so what is the right uh, answer here that is by helping them recognize their potential for change so education should empower marginalized groups in this way Th that is education should help them recognize their potential for change the power for change they are having innate power that is the idea here Freud believed that education should help marginalized groups recognize their ability to effect change, to really make change in the society. Which book is Paulo Freire best known for? Which is the book written by Paulo Freire? Education for All, Pedagogy of the Oppressed, Teaching as a Profession, The Art of Education. That is the Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Uh, you know, that is what made him very famous in the world. Uh, Freire is best known for his influential book, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. What does Freire mean by the culture of silence? Your musical style, your lack of communication, your form of protest, your way, of, your way to promote learning. What does Freire mean by the culture of silence? That is, your lack of communication. The culture of silence refers to a situation where students do not express their thoughts due to the traditional education system. Freire's educational approach encourages students to what? Memorize information, passively accept knowledge, engage actively in their learning, compete with one another. Freire's educational approach encourages students to uh, engage actively in their learning. Freire encourages students to be active participants in their education, promoting engagement and critical thinking. Which of the following issues is Freire's work related to? Technology in education, social justice, standardized testing, corporate education. Which of the following issues? That is social justice, issue of social justice. He fought for it. Freire's work is deeply connected to social justice and empowering marginalized communities. What does Freire believe education should inspire people to do? Accept their fate, question unfair systems, avoid critical thinking, focus on personal gains. So what is the question? What I see how uh, Freya expect people to do. In other words, I know what is his expectation with regard to the people. Simply accepting their fate, questioning unfair systems, or avoiding critical thinking, or focusing on personal gain. That is, he expects people to question unfair systems, unjust systems. Freya believed education should inspire individuals to question and challenge unjust systems. Which concept is closely related to Freire's idea of raising awareness? Critical consciousness, basic literacy, traditional teaching, passive learning. Which concept is closely related to Freire's idea of raising awareness? That is critical consciousness. Critical consciousness is about developing an awareness of social and political context, a key idea in Freire's philosophy. In Freire's view, how should teachers and students interact? as authority and subordinate, as equals in dialogue, as competitors, as distant observers. So what, uh, what should be the uh, level of relationship between students and teachers? That is, as equals in dialogue. You know, the teachers should not disrespect students. They should be respected. The students should be respected by the teachers as their equals. So Freire believed that teachers and students should engage as equals in a dialogue for mutual learning. What did Freire believe was a common outcome of traditional education? Increased creativity, enhanced critical thinking, a culture of silence, improved communication skills. So what did Freire believe was a common outcome of traditional education? That is, uh, uh, you know, uh, improved uh, say a culture of silence. You know, people simply don't ask anything. Even if there is injustice, they don't open their voice against them. That is the idea uh, of culture of silence. Freire criticized the traditional education for creating a culture of silence where students do not express their ideas. What is the ultimate goal of uh, Freire's educational philosophy? To improve test scores, 
to develop critical thinkers who can enact social change, uh, to prepare students for standardized tests, to maintain traditional educational practices. So what is the ultimate goal of Freya's educational philosophy? That is Freya aimed to develop critical thinkers who can recognize and challenge social injustices. Freya's influence can be seen in which of the following areas? Business management, curriculum development, global educational movements, technological advancements. Freya's influence can be seen in which of the following areas? That is uh, global educational movements. Freya's ideas have inspired global educational movements that focus on social justice and empowerment. How does uh, Freya, uh, Freya, Freya argue about the purpose of education? To prepare students for jobs, to promote social change and empowerment, to create a standardized curriculum, to enforce discipline. So how does Freya argue about the purpose of education? That is to promote social change and empowerment. Freya viewed education as a means to promote social change and empower individuals. Which of the following is a key component of Freya's critical pedagogy? Rote memorization, teacher-centered instruction, collaborative learning, uniform assessments. That is a collaborative learning. Freya's critical pedagogy emphasizes collaborative learning where students work together and engage in dialogue with the teachers. How did Freyer view the relationship between education and power? Education has no impact on power dynamics. Education can reinforce the existing power structures. Education should challenge power structures. Education is only for the powerful. So what is the correct idea here? How did Freyer view the relationship between education and power? Freyer believed that education should challenge and change the existing structures in society. So education should challenge power structure is the correct answer. Then Freyer's approach to education can best be described as what? Freyer's approach to education can best be described as authoritarian, participatory and democratic and individualistic, isolating etc. So what is the correct answer here? Participatory and democratic. So each one is respected. Freya's approach emphasizes participatory and democratic education where everyone has a voice. Which of the following best describes Freya's view on the role of teachers? Teachers are sole authority figures. Teachers should act as facilitators of learning. Teachers should control the classroom. Teachers should avoid student interaction. Which of the following best describe Freya's view on the role of teachers? Teachers should act as facilitators of learning. Freya saw teachers as facilitators who encourage dialogue and critical thinking among students. Why is Freya's work is still relevant today? Why is Freya's work is still relevant today? It focuses solely on traditional teaching methods. It addresses current social issues and inequalities. It discourages student participation. It emphasizes memorization over understanding. So who is Freyer's work? Freyer's work is still relevant today because Freyer's work remains relevant as it addresses contemporary social issues, I mean the present social issues, and promotes equity, equality in education. Thank you very much, dear friends. God bless you abundantly. Uh, you, you, you have been with me always whenever I am publishing videos in YouTube. Thank you very much for your support, uh, constant support uh, some of you are giving. Thank you very much for the great support you are getting because it gives me a, a terrible boost you know, to create more and more videos for you, for you to track net education or uh, TRB education etc. I am giving both in Tamil as well as English uh, videos. Those who are having only English language as the communication medium, uh, kindly go through all the English uh, videos. I have given it in the uh, playlist. If you go through my uh, channel, na, at Jesu Easy, I already given it in the thumbnail everywhere. Even inside the description box also you can see. Kindly go through my at Jesu Easy YouTube channel. You will get every other video. Of course, uh, Tamil playlist are separate, English uh, playlist are separate. You can go through anything. You can uh, go through both also. So those who are those who do not know Tamil, kindly go through all English videos in the playlist of my YouTube channel. That is at Jesu Easy. Jesu Easy. I have given it in the description box. Thank you very much. Kindly subscribe, like, comment. That will be a great help to me.
uh, for improving my uh, videos or uh, educational points etc thank you god bless